All right, I'll have another uh, combine surgery video here for for this little hillside, New Holland. I don't really have a picture of it. Uh, this is an, a separate picture I made in a previous uh, harvest. But you can just look here. The, the one I want to try to fix here now is the straw, the particle animation. You can kind of see here that this this here was canola it was harvesting and it you know it uh, didn't drop a straw of windrow but it just ran the chopper and I'm just looking at it here now and you see the material as if it's coming straight out of the tin work here on the back and if it's properly placed the chopper particle animation should be going right along this outer edge you know which is where it would come out in real life and I think in one of my Kelvin Valley videos where I talked about this a little bit it wasn't even on the chopper part it was dropping the swath which we don't see in here it, it uh, particularly when it's headed up a hill and the hillside unit is on its it sticks its rear end way up in the hill or way up in the air rather and the straw it drops a little bit you'll see it but then it kind of cuts off in midair and so I guess what I like to do is try to make sure it's positioned properly and see if maybe we can elongate it a little bit uh, so I'm just gonna explore that a little bit we'll get rid of this picture here dive back into the model and whoops there we go so we know we want the straw to drop approximately here which is about where it's coming we just need to make it longer but it's kind of hard to see because in this particular case the particle animation isn't even included with the model it's kind of called up by reference so maybe we could look at the XML to get a picture of it there's several effects here and I know this is something that changed over time um, so a lot of it I don't even know what it does but I think the effect we're looking for here coming to straw we'll try to deal with that one first is this right here and we'll see several things in here. I believe the effect node is, see what happens at game time when threshing happens is, you know, you have the 3D model and when you activate the combine, it drags in other animations, if you will, to simulate the particles. And you can place or tell the script exactly where you want the particle animation to appear namely back here would make sense you know to put it anywhere else but so if we look in here sometimes the modder is helpfully labeled which it appears they did right here kind of where whoops maybe that isn't it maybe it's under particles yeah so the straw effect which seems counterintuitive it shows it right under the combine and i know that isn't where it's dropping in game so what it tells me is the particle animation whatever's being used is offset from this point back some amount i guess that would be on the z-axis maybe x-axis that doesn't matter it's back from this point so that it appears somewhat in the proper area so what is that file that they're using it tells us over here oh and by the way yeah the effect node that's going to be in the file this file over here this particle animation file that's the node that we need to look at the link node is the location on the combine itself so you'll see zero three and so forth here that's the index up here where this straw effect appears so we know we're in in the vicinity where we need to be um, probably we'll deal with this one first straw dropping it I 
yeah, we'll just see kind of what these means here. The material type, that must tell the script something. But right now, what I need to do is go find this particular file. And anytime we see something that says dollars data in front of it, it's something that comes from the game files themselves. It isn't something in the 3D model. Um, so it's something that was installed at the game. So I'm going to go find this data, vehicles, particle animations, New Holland, uh, TC590. So I think well, that's the CR590. This, all it's calling for is just the, the location on your hard drive of where the game files are. So I think the TC590, yeah, that's this right here. Did it have particles after it? Nope, maybe a different one has particles. Anyway, I'll load this one up. I'll get rid of the terrain. A lot of times these files have several kinds of particle animation in here, and I think we can see that, you know, the straw where it's gonna drop, that's this one right here. Uh, this one here looks like a pipe animation, you know, that would come when you're unloading the combine. This fan-shaped one appears like it'd be the one that goes in the grain tank, you know, with the auger that carries in the material. So that's probably the out one. Uh, this one in the back looks like a straw chopper animation, so it, that would appear. And a couple of these others... I'm not sure what this fan-shaped one is, um, but this one here looks like it's coming off the grain shoe that's the chaff. So those are probably the two that uh, that we like to have, you know, when we're fixing the straw. So maybe what I'll do, I don't know if we need to do any custom work on here, but to keep from screwing up the game files what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just export the entire thing with files so it has everything it needs I'm gonna come into here into the mod I can find it I think it's here I think there's particles up here I'm just gonna call this uh, yeah, particles Sure, that works, right? Okay, then I'm going to close this or one. Then I'm going to try something here because it's hard to know how it's placed or how it sits on here and whether this node, which is at the zero, zero, zero part, you know, anything that's at zero, 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 I, it's basically at... Uh, at its base level within the transform group. I'm not sure I'm describing it that way, but it can be moved around. You know, this also is at zero, zero, zero. At some point, I mean, it appears very centered on the machine. So, you know, if we come into our combine here and go to particles and uh, let me just load it up here. So we have the separate version open. And I open this draw and say I take a look you know something that's very interesting I wish I knew what caused that I exported it all but wow does it look different that just doesn't all right scratch that I'm gonna go load the original version I'm not sure why it changes it all up I've noticed that before where it messes everything up when you export it from the base game file so we may not have very many options and depending on how much horsing around I want to do to try to modify it but yeah, this looks a whole lot better. So the file that I'm really after, or not the file, the area, this is where it comes off, and this is probably, yep, coming out of the chaff. So how to see it over here, sometimes I think what we can do is 
we can just import it temporarily into the model and place it where it's going to go. And I don't want to use that one because it's all messed up. But I'll go grab it. I think it's in vehicles, is it particle animations, New Holland, TC590. Okay, so it just drags it in as is, as we see it. So I want to take the straw piece and I'm going to basically cut it and I'm going to paste it right here, which will put it at zero, zero. And for the moment, let me move that stuff out of the way so we can see it uninhibited yeah that's pretty well how it appears in the game I think that's pretty close which which really isn't bad at all so if I come up here let me see if there is a it's all keyed off of the same node which is this right here but if I look at that, see, in these combines, I don't know much about the new Holland AL9, but I suspect it just looks like a conventional threshing, thresher. And by conventional, I mean it, it isn't a rotary combine or what they would call that. You know, a rotary combine, the threshing happens in this massive drum up here that rolls laterally, if you will. And the material goes through it and it gets threshed. Well, on a conventional thresher, there's a cylinder, if you will, right behind the feeder housing that turns kind of like so. And it, it goes at high speed and <clears throat> as the material comes through, threshes the grain. And then from here, <clears throat> the, the grain coming off of this would head into what's called the grain shoe back here or the sieves. And the straw material <clears throat> would kind of come up and in this section back here would be what are called straw walkers. And they kind of um, agitate uh, back and forth or front and back, if you will, to try to rattle any seed out or grain in this case, it might be there. So it takes as much room here as it can, you know, so the straw probably would spill over more back in here versus here but it's kind of hard to tell because if you look inside the model you know the way it's set up I think is for the straw chopper you know this model has a chopper on there and I know the combines I've worked on in the past you know you had to take the chopper on and off it wasn't just you know like we do in game where you could choose to chop it or not you had to, I mean, it was kind of physical labor. These things were heavy. And I remember it was all hands on deck to lift these things up, like this unit back here to fix it to the combine. And then, you know, there'd be something inside here so that all the straw would be directed into the chopper. So it'd be chopped instead of dropping out of the machine. So it appears that's kind of how they have this combine set up. So you don't really see the straw walkers up here um so maybe it was set up to just chop it all the time i don't know maybe there's a hatch here that opens up if it's you know i i just don't know how this machine works but it appears the way it is it's all being directed to the chopper but be that as it may since we're not looking out of the machine that often and we can suspend the at reality i think what i want to do is move it back just a little bit further so here's what I'll do. I'll just quit talking and shove it back here. And see there, the material's coming just over the back. That gets this a little further back. I think that looks a little more realistic as to where that would drop. The straw part versus the chaff. 
And I remember combining, there was a lot of chaff that ended up on these back wheels. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. Straw would get there too, but usually the straw would drop behind the wheels. So I think I'll give that a try. I mean, all that jibber jabbering just to say that I took this node, you know, 03000014.2, which is what we have in our XML over here. Actually, it's identified for both. And what I did is moved it back just a little bit. 0.646 meters on the z-axis to move that towards the rear of the machine so that when it turns on hopefully it looks a little bit more realistic but the other thing that's gonna be a booger to try to fix unless I figure out something else is there's only so much distance here you know we know this file and I don't have 3d modeling skills I'm sure there's a way to do it let me just move it down just a wee bit. Ah, see, there's the top of the thing. So already we're seeing daylight, and that hardly gets, that doesn't even get to the ground behind this machine. So yeah, obviously when when the back end is way up high in the air because it's leveling, this is still going to just kind of cut off midair, and it's going to, it isn't going to look quite realistic so one thing I could try is I could add another node so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of this stuff later but I'm for the moment I'm gonna duplicate this and we'll call this draw act one and We'll call this straw act two. So right now it's in the same spot. And I basically don't want this one here. So I'm going to delete that just to remove any visual distraction. And so this node, it's in the same location. What I'm going to do, it's going to keep this. And if I duplicate this twice, maybe what I can do, that's kind of, I got to say, it didn't, let me see if I can move that. Yeah, that's going to look a little funny. It uh, It is in a uniform shape. So I can put this one, if I have a second node, if I get this one just underneath, then what I have is a little extra particle animation if I put this in there twice. So that when the rear end of the comma end is leveling up in the air, you know, most of the time, if it's on the flat, you aren't even going to see this. It'll be kind of down at ground level and going into the ground under the tires, you know, where the the player wouldn't see it. But maybe, you know, if it's far enough up in the air, that would raise this node up, which is affixed here. And you would see a stream of material coming all the way here. The hard part may be, and I don't know how this works, you know, when you turn it on, what you might see, you might have to look away because you may see straw dropping at the top here, and you may see straw dropping here, and it'll look a little funny because it'll be all open space, and you'll say, well, how is this straw getting there? But I think the benefits, if this works the way I'm hoping it, it will, will outweigh that by by providing a little better visuals as you're taking it up the hill. So kind of curious to see if that'll work. So I'm going to just delete those out. This is kind of how it will appear. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we'll give it the old college try anyhow. That part is left alone. So maybe before I, so we got this XML. This is adding another node. I'm just gonna copy that, or I say node. It's another index. I'm probably not using the right terminology. So we're gonna go back in here. Actually, I did that wrong again. You know what? I'm gonna, actually, let me copy the top one. I copy this effect node because I'm going to use the same file. I'll put that here. Now I'm going to go grab my index, which is a new location. And I'll put that right here. It should be 14.3. Yeah. And I think the node index I want, I think that's set up right. It's two zero. Is that right? Two zero zero. Yeah, two zero zero, two zero one. So that's the one I want. I don't want this other one because that's spitting it out. That's the chaff coming out. I just want the straw at this spot. So only this material type ID, that's all going to be the same. The file name is the same. So I'm going to save that. So let me come in here and I'm going to delete this out because this is going to be dynamically loaded at game time. We'll delete that out. So we're only leaving in here the locations here and here. And so now I think I also need to save this on the model. Hopefully I haven't messed up anything else. So I'm going to hit save there. And now let's go give this a try. And we'll just, we'll point him uphill just to exaggerate it and See if we can get this to work the way we want it. Back into good old Elven Valley. Because I know we're harvesting wheat there, so we should be able to see how this, see if this works. Still has it at bar across the top of the machine. All right, here's our humble combine, looking none worse for the wear. Let's get him pointed uphill. I think we have a yeah, it's a decent slope. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna shamelessly drive. Ah, there we go. Now we have his rear end up in the air. So I'm going to get him going. Now let's just take a look at this. Yeah, there we go. Now it reaches all the way to the ground. Maybe that looks a little hokey. some ways we need to do the same with our chaff up there. That's kind of just burping out, but you could say it's just going into the stream. Ooh, whoops. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to give that a little thought. I'll maybe use it for now. Because otherwise, you know, if I can get him flat... There we go. That's flatter. Let's 
see here. Yeah, you, you really don't hardly see that other piece. Whoops, um, oh. It kind of hides, because it's closer to the ground. But it is a little bit noticeable. So, that's part of the reason I exported the... the particle animation to its own file. I was kind of wanting to see if I could elongate it so I could have it all one piece, versus having it in two pieces like this. Maybe for the moment I'll leave it in two pieces. I'm going to have to see if there is a way to make the particle animation work if it's exported out of the base game files. Uh, but for the moment, I guess this will work for when the combine is fully leveled and its rear end is way up in the air. It'll help a little bit. Could be worse. <laughs> 